Hello and welcome to Board Game Ninja. Today we would like you to steal, rob and complete daring heists in bad company. Every player has a team of 11 specialists to get the job done. Every heist requires a number of special skills and when you've collected them, you get the points. Stay ahead of the police in your getaway car and whoever has the most points at the end of the track wins the game. Bad Company is a game for 1-6 to six players, takes around 30 minutes and expect an 8 year old to be able to play. Please subscribe to our channel, that will help us a lot. Put the city board in the middle of the table and place the scoreboard next to it. Bad Company has three different decks, upgrade cards, loot cards and heist cards. Shuffle each of them and place them face down on the table. Make a market of four cards plus the visible top card of the pile. Each player now chooses a color, places a recruiter on the track and a scoring disc placed on zero. You also take your car and place it on the start space of the city board. The police car is put onto the space with a value equal to the number of players. Time to painstakingly put your gang together. Well, you randomly draw one left side and one right side and put them together. So you get a gang named the Lucky Pimples or the Emotional Hood. Get two coins from the supply. All other tokens and markers go into the supply. Determine who will be boss and give the boss the four golden dice and the black police die. Now everyone draws their initial heist cards, starting with the boss and then going in clockwise order. Take three cards in total and choose two of them, then return the third to the bottom of the deck. You are ready to begin. The boss rolls the five dice. This is the police die and it shows how many spaces the police car will drive at the end of the turn. Keep it apart for now. The boss creates two pairs out of the golden dice. The total value per pair is the gang member that is activated. If the boss doesn't like the numbers rolled, he or she can opt to re-roll one or more dice at the cost of one coin. The boss announces the values of both pairs and activates both, while the other players pick only one pair to activate. Immediately take the reward shown. The steering wheel lets you move your car one space forward. The coins get you the amount of money shown. And for every other icon on the gang member, you can cover one of those icons on a heist card or on one of the tasks on the sides of the board. There are two special gang members, number 2 and 12. Number 2, the fixer, lets you choose lock, hand or mask. Count how many of that icon are visible among your gang members and place that number of tokens on the chosen icons with heists or tasks. Any extra tokens are lost. Number 12, the chauffeur, lets you drive away. Move your car two spaces on the road. City board is the place where the chase takes place. Every player tries to stay ahead of the police car to receive a bonus. Every time you pass a checkpoint and the police car has not passed it yet, you receive the bonus. There are several shortcuts the player can take to get ahead of the police car, but by doing so, you will miss one or more checkpoints. At the end of the road, there are red fields with some nice bonus points on them. The game ends whenever a car any car, so including the police, reaches the red fields. After all players have activated their gang members, the next phase takes place in which you can resolve heists and tasks or recruit new and improved crew members for your gang. When all the icons from a task or heist are covered, you finish the assignment. Return the check markers to the supply, receive the reward at the bottom and put the heist underneath the gang alongside the other completed heists. With a heist, you can get the reward on the bottom of the card. Purple bonuses are counted at the end of the game. Red bonuses are permanent and can be used every turn. Other icons can be used immediately. In the top right corner is the number of points you get at the end of the game. At the top, you will also see the mission symbols, diamonds, gold bars, art or coin bags. At the end of each turn, you check who has the most of each symbol. The reward is a pretty badass necklace accompanied with a victory point. You place the necklace on one of your gang members. Whenever that gang member is activated, you get an extra victory point. If two players are tied for the most symbols, look at the small number to the left of the symbols. The highest number gets the necklace. 
When you have enough money, it may be wise to upgrade your gang members. On the scoreboard, you have your recruiter waiting for you on the upgrade track. Pay the amount to go to the next spot and take three recruit cards from the pile. Pick one and discard the others. Place the upgrade on the gang member that matches the number, like this. Now, whenever you activate this girl, you get all the rewards visible. If you recruited more upgrades to the same gang member, you get more rewards. Also, pay attention to the victory points in the top left corner. Only the visible points will be added to your total at the end of the game. The last thing to cover in this explanation is loot cards. Whenever you encounter this symbol, you take a loot card from the pile. They have great perks from victory points or free check marks to extra icons or money and lots more. When everyone has staged their heists, put the gang to work and upgraded their members, it is time to move on. The boss moves the police car according to the black die and starting with the boss, every player with fewer than two heists take heist cards until they have two active heists. The market must always display five cards, so replenish it after each card that has been drawn. Now check if the end of the game is triggered. If anyone has six completed heists or a car has entered the red zone, including the police car, the next round will be the final round. If not, the next player in clockwise order will become the boss and a new round will start with throwing the dice. If the end is triggered, the golden dice will be cast one last time. No rerolls and no black police die. Each player individually combines the dice to two pairs and activates two gang members. And now it's time for scoring. Count the completed heists, the extra point for completed heists, points from loot cards, visible points on upgrade cards, two points for each necklace and one point for each two markers still on your board, rounded down. Deduct three points if your car was behind the police car at the end of the game. If your car ended the game in the red zone, you receive points. The player with the most points is the winner. Bad Company is a light, fast-paced take on crime. It's not about the best laid plans and polishing your team until you can pull off the perfect crime. The game is simply too short and you have to depend on the cards that are dealt to you. So it's more like think on your feet, grab the money and run. The theme could just as well have been managing a football team or racing pirates around an island. About that, Bad Company has more than a few similarities with Jamaica. But part of the glamour is the direct reference to countless movies, video games and other pop culture. You recognize the fixer, the muscle man and the getaway driver. The tension of the chase is real, as is the relief when you pull it off. During the game, your choices are fairly straightforward. There's little downtime since you still make choices when other players are the boss. The interactivity is not only limited to seeing who's leading the car chase or who's ahead in the battle for the necklaces. When it is your turn to act as the boss, you have the responsibility to choose your pairs wisely so the runaway leader won't disappear on the horizon. Direct gang fights are not part of the game, so this gang warfare stays polite and capos can still get along. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up while you're at it. See you next time.